I know how to really work to get new jobs and to get exports that help to create more new jobs. Very well, you haven't done it in 30 years or 26 years. Well, any I, number you I've been to a do. senator. You Donald, haven't done it. And you haven't I done have it. been a and secretary of state. And I have Your done husband signed NAFTA, which was one of the worst things that ever happened well, to the manufacturing your industry. That is your you go to New England, you go to Ohio, Pennsylvania, you go anywhere you want, Secretary Clinton, and you will see devastation where manufacturing is down 30, 40, sometimes 50 percent. NAFTA is the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere but certainly ever signed in this country. And now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that, and that will be almost as bad as NAFTA. Nothing will ever well, top NAFTA. That that is just not accurate. I uh, was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in... You called it the gold I, I standard. About, well, I hope... You called I, it the gold standard of trade and, deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. The facts are, I did say, I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I wrote about that. So is it President Obama's fault? Is it President Obama's fault? Even announced. Look, there Secretary, are Secretary, is it President there, Obama's fault? There are different, because he's pushing it. There are different views about what's good for our country, our economy, and our leadership in the world. And I think it's important to look at what we need to do to get the economy going again. That's why I said new jobs with rising incomes, investments not in more tax cuts that would add $5 trillion to the debt. But you have but no plan. Educate. Oh, I do. Secretary, fact, you I have, have no plan. a book about it. It's called Stronger Together. You yeah. can pick it up That's tomorrow. That's about all you. At the bookstore or at an airport near you. We're going to move to. Uh, but it's because I see this. We need to have strong growth, fair growth, sustained growth. We also have to look at how we help families balance the responsibilities at home and the responsibilities at business. So we have a very robust set of plans, and people who have looked at both of our plans have concluded that mine would create 10 million jobs and yours would lose us three and a half million jobs and explode You are the going debt, to approve one of the biggest tax cuts in recession. history. You are going to approve one of the biggest tax increases in history. You are going to drive business out. Your regulations are a disaster, and you're going to increase regulations all over the place. And by the way, my tax cut is the biggest since Ronald Reagan. I'm very proud of it. It will create tremendous numbers of new jobs. But regulations, you are going to regulate these businesses out of existence. When I go around, Lester, I tell you this, I've been all over. And when I go around, despite the tax cut, the, thing, the things that business as and people like the most is the fact that I'm cutting regulation. You have regulations on top of regulations and new companies cannot form and old companies are going out of business and you want to increase the regulations and make them even worse. I'm going to cut regulations, well, but I'm going to cut taxes big league and you're going to raise taxes big league. End of story. Let me get you to pause right there because we're going to yes, move, well, into, we're going to that, move into the next that, segment. That, we're going to talk that taxes. Can't, that can't be left Please to stand. Please take 30 you know, seconds. I, I kind on. of assumed that there would be a lot of these charges and claims. And so Facts. we have taken uh, the homepage of my website, HillaryClinton.com, and we've turned it into a fact checker. So if you want to see in real time uh, what the facts are, please go and take a look. Because and take I a look at mine also, and you'll see. add a penny to the debt. 